Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at the Yanker email worm. This worm activates very destructively right after we run it, so I'm going to explain a little bit about it before we start. We have an important file here on the desktop. This is my PhD dissertation, worked on this for a very long time, and of course me being the studious, responsible college student that I am, did not make any backups and keep my only copy on this computer alone. Because this is Windows 98, we don't have cloud storage, and... I am not going out of my way to buy a zip disk drive. So we've got Outlook here because it's going to send a few emails right after we run it. And usually this would arrive as a RAR archive, which would have a web page HTML in it that would actually silently open this hidden EXE file, which would do the actual worm activities. I don't have that RAR archive, I just have the malware EXE, but we'll be able to see the bulk of the worm anyway. So let's go ahead and run it. So here we go, we have run Yanker. We can see this email here. So this message has not been sent. So Yankee password, we got xdvirus at peoplemail.com.cn. So what's in ip.txt? Let's open it. Oh, where did our desktop go? The system cannot find the file specified. Um, okay, we were able to open it that time. So what this is, is a list of passwords that the worm was able to harvest from the system as well as your computer's IP address so that the attacker could later come in and break into your system. Now, everything has pretty much been deleted other than the Windows directory and Microsoft Office, so I'm not sure the author really thought that through all the way because he's about to break into a system with nothing left on it. But maybe he got some cool passwords anyway and he can now hack into some of your accounts. Hopefully you're not too attached to your EverQuest data. All right, let's close out of this because there are a few more things I want to show you. So we are going to get into the C drive here. We can see um, pretty much everything that came with Windows is deleted. We are left with Internet Explorer and Microsoft Office and the Windows folder. So Windows is okay. We are missing everything out of our desktop, unfortunately. Oh, look, it's still here. All right, we're safe for now. Oh, hey, look, it all came back. Wow, I cannot believe it. So in my prior experiences with this worm, everything was deleted, but it seems that everything is here right now. So once again, you are able to witness the glory that is malware not doing what it usually does whenever I start recording. But now that we know that our files are safe, let's go on back here. We are going to um, make a new folder in the C drive. This is going to be my games folder. And it's going to have my cool game, which is actually a text file. Cool, cool game. Yeah, I'm sure I want to change it. Oh, okay, well, now it's cool game with no file extension. So it's not actually a game, so it doesn't really matter. We'll go back. I'll take a look. Here is the VBS script that the worm actually drops when it's run. So this does all the mass mailing. It does the file deletion. It starts with a comment that says, Welcome to XD University. I am Yankee, so sorry about what I have done to you. So if we scroll on down here, we can see it calling the webpage.rar that we don't have. If we scroll on further, we can actually see this email routine that actually sends it out to your contacts. So I'd like to see that happen, so I'm going to just copy this out and improve this worm real quick. Okay, here we are. You can see I have named my new and improved variant Yanker Worm V2. So please, all of you, be aware of my elite hacking abilities to have created a worm in about a minute. And it's not at all from just copying and pasting the old source code. Don't worry about that. Anyway, maybe I should actually name it with a VBS extension. And really quick, if we look, it's trying to attach webpage.rar, which we do not have, but what we do have is the best screensaver ever made, and we're just going to send that out to all our contacts. It's not malicious, but it's awesome. Let's save as VBS this time. Yes, I want to replace it, and let's go. So here, we can actually see the mail that the worm tried to send, but failed because we didn't have that file. So we send it as, hi, my new web page, and a smiley face. Hi, here is my new web page. Please check it and give me some advice. Yours, 
3dmaze.scr and when we run it we of course get our glorious 3d maze that we know and love from Windows 98 and there it is still works f perfectly fine looks good and I'm glad we modified the worm to send out this lovely screensaver to everybody that might not have it I want to look at one more thing real quick so we have our games folder here I want to see if Yankee will actually delete it so I believe we need to go to regedit and clear out its key that it makes because once it runs it doesn't want to run again unless we clear this out so here's its own key go ahead and delete that try it one more time real quick I just want to see if it actually deletes anything so we got our mail again and it did so the worm did successfully delete files but I think just by virtue of being in the Windows folder we have saved our very long and complex PhD dissertation. If we were to copy this anywhere else it would have been lost but by some amazing stroke of luck our college career is not ruined by a simple VBS script worm. So that is about it for the Yanker email worm. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.